Hey, Bob Davidson, good morning, and thank you for having me. But I tell you, I don't know if I want to follow that state auditor. I said, I don't know who built his fire this morning, but he was stoked when he got up here. But I want to welcome you to your Mississippi Ag and Forestry Museum, and I appreciate them having this event every year because we need the rental money out here. We're on about 40 acres, and we have about 15,000 square feet of meeting facilities, so you see how nice this is. So I just ask you, when you have a meeting, please consider the Ag Museum, because we would love to rent you some of these facilities. But we're doing great. Everybody's enjoying this October weather. And uh, they told me this is the 11th year for Hobnob. And I remember sitting in the legislature thinking, now what is this Hobnob about? But boy, look what it's turned into. So my hat is off to Blake Wilson and his staff. They have a staff of eight that put this on. But thank you for coming here and thank you for making it happen. I'm sure we're going to have a very exciting day. And things are really good in agriculture. I want to report to you that the row crops are, have record yields this year, soybeans and corn. Don't know if we'll ever do it again, but people talk about the drought, and the drought was mainly in the Midwest, but Mississippi has had a very good ag year, unless you're feeding corn, and then some of us aren't smiling as big as others. But uh, just the other day, we had Chief Anderson down here at the Ag Museum. We unveiled her portrait to uh, put in the uh, Heritage Center and the Ethnic Center over there, which was a really good day. We've had a lot of things happening out here. We have a new nature trail here that I really encourage you to go visit. And as you may be aware of, or you may not be aware of, ag is the number one industry in this state. And so when we have that good meal today, I just want us to think about our farmers and what's there. Another thing that has happened at the Department of Agriculture is our Ag Theft Bureau. Just a couple of weeks ago, we had a huge bust in Claiborne County of stolen equipment. They say, what does the Ag Theft Bureau do? Well, that's what we do. If you have your timber stolen, your cattle stolen, or equipment, we have investigators to go out, and we had a press release on that that uh, actually made some uh, media down there and in the Jackson area. We recovered over $200,000 worth of equipment. So we've been really busy, and I want to kind of echo what Stacy Pickering was saying about getting out the vote. You know, my pastor, the other day I was visiting with him, and he said, Cindy, bad politicians are elected by good people who do not get out and vote. And that really resonated with me that he's exactly right. So I just want to encourage you that, you know, next Tuesday's the day. Please exercise that right that people have died for us to do. And thank you for coming today. Thank you for being a part of the political process here at Hobnob. And I just want you to enjoy your day. And I thank my staff out here for making everything go real smooth. So if you need us, let us know. But thanks for having me.